<laughs> I do want to say everybody keeps talking about everything that we do for the animals before I do my. It's only five minutes, I promise it's quick. Everybody just gets to go eat. Um, we get more from the animals than uh, what, what, however much we did for them. We get more back from them than I. I there are no words. Um, every morning we wake up and work. We know we're doing what we love. Every night we pass out. And we know we did what we loved and we did our best for all of our babies. So, um, you know. So I want to thank everybody who's here. All of the, I, I, there's too many. I can't, I can't list all of you. Um, but especially the members of the Democratic Town Committee. I, poor Fran, when she called me, she had so much trouble convincing me that this had happened. I, I was like, but why? I was like, no, I don't understand. Um, but thank you. And um, I want to thank my very patient family. You have no idea. Um, my very patient friends, there's a whole bunch of them out there, our intrepid volunteers, and there's a pile of them out there too. Um, maybe more than anyone, our neighbors, who know all too well what hungry pigs and donkeys sound like at 6 a.m. <laughs> Nobody has ever actually like like signed a petition to, to, to quiet down. Well, we couldn't, but, but we, we appreciate your patience with us. Um, there, I mean, you all have a lot of animals, even really large, loud ones. Um, so I thank all of you for this honor of choosing me as the citizen of the year. I, although I could just have easily been voted town crazy person of the year, which is really what I thought when Fran calls me. Uh, but first, I need to have my husband come stand next to me. has been my dream my entire life as a little girl. All I wanted was a pony. Um, but my husband is the one who makes this a reality every single day. We work as a team, um, you know, filling wheelbarrows, pushing the wheelbarrows. Huh? I'm okay. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, we kind of carry each other through this because this is, this is uh, difficult. Uh, one of the first things he ever told me, which I thought was, well, I mentioned that I love animals. And the first thing he said to me was, I I'm, I'm not really an animal person. <laughs> <laughs> not even dogs. <laughs> and now he's got seven. <laughs> um, but, as I speak, there's a three-month-old bull calf named Francis Beauregard sleeping in our laundry area. <laughs> so, we moved to Bethany from Milford in April of 2000 because I wanted a pony. And I learned that ponies are a very slippery slope. Um, I assumed I'd do rescue work because I always have, but I, I really didn't understand exactly how far this would go. And I. Yeah, that's me, but I also blame Bethany because you guys made it easy. You made it really easy. Because <laughs> I'd never be allowed to get away with this in Milford. Never. They'd, they'd, they'd shut me down. <sighs> okay, now I know I made this look super glamorous, but the life that we've chosen is very difficult and it's often painful. We wouldn't still be here if it weren't for the kindness of the residents. Our friends, the people of Town Hall, we'd have been long gone. This is hard. Um, and somehow at the last second, there's always a save for us. And by that I mean for the animals who are the heart of Lockett's Meadow. I can't count how many people have told me we live their dream life. But the truth is, they're crazy. <laughs> Funding an animal rescue in the sanctuary, primarily out of our own pockets, is way too expensive, it's way too exhausting, and it's way too muddy. Oh no, we, we lose boots, they get sucked off, <laughs> leave them behind. And the worst thing is the heartbreak of losing our beloved babies to the Rainbow Bridge. It's almost unbearable, and it's when you have as many animals as we have, it's, it's, it's often. Um, most of you are aware we rescue animals from 
all kinds of horrible circumstances, but you may not understand why. And here's the part where I get voted crazy person of the year, right now. Unlock its meadow. We believe every living being on this planet is meant to work with every other to make our Earth a true paradise. And that includes we humans as animals. Humans like to believe we're the most important beings on this planet, but that's our egos talking. If every one of us vanished tomorrow, <laughs> if every one of us vanished tomorrow, humanity, Mother Earth would breathe a sigh of relief, spend a few decades cleaning up our mess, and then recreate the balance of nature and live happily ever after. But if one tiny species of animals, bees, disappears, our entire planet will die. Animals create the balance on this planet and they keep trying in spite of what we do to harm them. For us, domesticated animals are, are where our hearts are. Um, humans created them for our use and they made sure, well, they made sure that we would that they would always have to, they would always need us to take care of them, with the exception of cats. <laughs> and animals are so vulnerable. We make all our decisions for them and, and seldom are we kind or compassionate. Unlock its meadow, we believe animals are our equals, if not our betters. We see our farm as a microcosm of an experiment where all animals are learning how to work together as a team for the betterment of the planet and each other. We believe that's where it lies our special magic. They never give up on us. We never give up on them. To have our work with them recognized is an overwhelming that we never expected. So from us and from all the animals of Lockett's Meadow, past, present, and future, we thank you for this incredible honor. We thank everyone in Bethany for being so kind and patient with us in our little animal sanctuary. And we are forever grateful we found our way to this little town. Kathleen certainly is right up there. Thank you very much.